You say that fundraising is a big indicator as far as uh, the support of a candidate. What has happened with your fundraising since the Glenn Beck interview yesterday? I haven't been on the, uh, the internet really at all to see that, but I think we had a report last night at the event that we were in that there was forty or $50,000 just in yesterday alone, so we've seen an increase. I did, I did see something about the Facebook fan page numbers shooting up as well, so I think from all indications that we're hearing, uh, that's good. I have been on three radio interviews this morning, and I did take a couple of calls and the calls that I took and again you don't have any way of knowing who's screening what um, but the calls that I took were very positive so whether they were screening out the negatives or not I, I don't know but at least the calls that I took this morning were really encouraging and positive. If you were to summarize this whole group, would you consider it an attack or a mistake? An attack. I don't think there's any question it's an attack. Can I answer that? How much do you have? No. Can we hear from the candidate? Yeah. Um, as soon as I got off of that radio interview, my daughter said, Mom, how come you kept talking over Mr. Beck? And I said, I didn't hear anything. Certainly wasn't what we were expecting in the interview. We had been, the interview had been scheduled to discuss the race in Texas. Um, we never talked about the race in Texas. We went right away to try to fringe and marginalize the candidate. I don't know if there were technical glitches, but I understand from my daughter and my husband, I've not listened to the interview, that he was saying, okay, we got your answer, we heard you, and I was talking right through that. None of that came through my earphone, whether that was um, accidental or not, I don't know. I know that the senator and the governor, who purportedly haven't been paying any attention to this campaign, were suddenly all over it very quickly, and there was at least one robocall, I understand, that went around the state of Texas with audio clips from that show in a very short period of time. So it felt like um, a coordinated swipe at the Medina campaign. That not, may not be accurate, and I, I you know, I, I, I travel a lot saying I'm a clinician, I deal with objective data, you're asking me what it felt like, I'm telling you what it felt like. When, when we get the facts and we see the evidence, I may have a different assessment, but, but today telling you what it feels like, it felt like an attack. A, co a coordinated, a coordinated, a coordinated attack. between whom? Who, the Kay Hutchison and Rick Perry campaign. Rick Perry and get her out of the way. <laughs> We're the political royalty here. She has no business on this stage. Let's get her out of the way. You, you have the sense that it was a coordinated effort between them and Glenn Beck. They were working together in Glenn Beck. I don't know who the players were. I just know what it felt like on this end. Right. I'm just trying to get a sense of whether Glenn Beck's included in, in that. Of course, they're shooting at you. But that Glenn Beck would have been somebody who, who also would have been. You think, you think that was... That you said it. You said it felt like a setup. It felt ugly. Yeah, you know how those things. I mean, we could speculate all day long about who knew what, when, and where. Um, well, I'm just saying it felt ugly on this end. Well, I know, but as long as you're speculating, what do you what do you think? <laughs> yeah, was it his producer who said, "Hey, here's the question that you ask and told Kay and Rick"? I don't know. You know, did, did Glenn get set up to? I, you know, I don't know. And, and, and it doesn't it doesn't advance this campaign at all to go there. And and I think it, it's not probably becoming of a of a gubernatorial candidate or an executive to offer those sorts of speculations. That's not what leaders do. We stay focused on the job, the task at hand. Um, I'll try to be an average Texan and answer honestly whenever you ask me a question, but, but I, don't, I don't think it advances anything for us to spend 20 minutes dissecting something I don't have any facts about. Right, but you did just say that, you, that it, it, felt felt, like, it yeah, feels like it a felt conspiracy. Like no, it's <laughs> right? that word. Well, I'm sorry. I'm not trying. To, like an attack. I'm not trying to misstate what you said, yeah. but it, it, yeah. isn't that the same thing? Coordinated attack. That's not conspiratorial. Okay. All right. Thank you all very much. I appreciate you coming out today. We'll be working.